Welcome back from spring break. I hope that you guys had a good time. I did. I rested, finished some of my classwork for my master's class, and now we are moving on. So first I want to recognize the students who did log on to H&R Block Budget Challenge and for the work that you did. Um, here are some of the class rankings for first hour. So you can see Chelsea and Chris, uh, Tyler, Ashley, uh, Alexis, Sydney, um, you're doing phenomenal. Chelsea's actually ranked 230th out of 44,000. Uh, Chris, 494, and Tyler, 1,095. Great job. This week, we are going to focus on H&R Block and what we can do to stay on track. So this right here is your rank. This rank determines who's in first, second, third, fourth, fifth place. We also are competing as an entire class in each in our block. So they average our scores. And as you can see, there's some people in the negative. And this is really affecting the class. So if you're in these categories down here, you are probably losing points. And we need to fix that quickly and need to fix that today. You will look at how much you're putting in your 401k, and you will make a determination if you can change it. Uh, here is your current bank balance. Oh, and look, it lets me see what happens in the bank, which is pretty phenomenal. And from that, you're going to do a worksheet. Okay, so that was that hour. Let's go over to what is due this week. So those who are not actively logged into H&R Block and you and I have had conversations, this is the activity you're going to complete. It's going to take several weeks to do, so it's what you will be working on this week. Also, we are going to work on today how my financial choices affect others. And so you're going to work on learning teams with partners to complete a review. These are the standards. And this is the activity that you will do, and it is due today, Monday, the 18th, by the end of class. Each of you will need to complete this and turn it in when you're done. So the first question, and it's all based on H&R Block, and you'll work with partners, where can you look to see what's affecting your score? And you're going to type your answer here. And then you're going to, after discussing it with your partner, you're going to type your plan of action of how you're going to increase your score or you're going to minimize, minimize those fees. So if you're in H&R Block, I will show you how to find that information. I want to log out. All right, so here is where you can find your score. So I have taken the current quiz. If I scroll down, I can see that this is my score. And this is the average score. And so see, the average score has really gone down, but my score has gone up. Good, that's where you want to be. And so it also shows here, if you click on view by your information, you can see what points you're earning or what points are being deducted. So this is a plus, so it means you're earning these points. These are a minus, which means you're deducted these points. So every day I've been earning a points, five points, because my credit card balance is below 500. I also earned 12 points for the survey and I've earned points here for my credit card balance. Now, I have option two in the bank, so every time I write a check, here's a fee. So those would be penalty points that are affecting my 401k. Here's my overdraft protection fee because I use that option. And you can see here's points. I earned a lot here. So my 401k, 321 points from contributing to my 401k. That's how you're going to answer the questions in the spreadsheet. You can see my score is here. This determines how well you're doing and you want this to be as high as possible. All right, let's say that you're having trouble figuring out how to pay a bill or how to turn in your assignment today. 
this website, Ask the Tech Teacher for YouTube. That's me. Please subscribe to it. Click on subscribe because I am going to upload all my videos to this that you're going to need in class. And as you can see, there are a lot of videos already here. Some of them are for you and some of them are for other teachers or classes. So here is how to pay a bill. Short video you can watch. It's explaining how to pay your credit card bill. If you aren't sure how you submit your assignment in Teams, watch this. It's a minute and 40 seconds. Here was an explanation of the class cash flow spreadsheet. If you would like to have me make a different how-to video with something you're struggling with, just let me know in class or you can subscribe to this and tell me. All right, so let's get out of this. This is due today. Remember, you can watch a video on how to turn it in if you forget. And let's close this to see what's due for the week. So we will do a team building activity today. You're going to complete how my financial choices affect other. I have the credit card quiz and H&R block with a video on credit card utilization. And here's the information you need to be able to take the quiz on the credit cards this week in H&R block. So you can come here, read this, and this is going to tell you all the information you need to know about credit cards. Then later this week, we're going to talk about the personal finance challenge, which is a contest. I also was emailed some information about an essay contest. It's 3,000 in scholarships. If you plan on attending a Kansas school, you can fill out this essay for this scholarship. And then I will select the top six students who do well on the personal finance challenge to be put into a challenge bowl and your travel will be paid to attend a competition based on first personal finance questions. All right, I will see you guys later and you guys have a good day.